All right, y'all, at this point, we know iOS 18 is coming. The update is gonna include a lot of new features. Let's run through a few things you need to know for this update. The official download will be available on September 16th. If your iPhone can run iOS 17, then it's compatible with the new iOS 18. Now, iPad iOS will not be available on all devices. Here is a list of the compatible iPads. But keep in mind, just because the device is compatible does not mean you'll be able to use all the features. Some features like Apple Intelligence will only be available for the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Pro, and the Mac and iPads with the M1 chip and up. Speaking of Apple Intelligence, let's talk about some of those features. Apple is hopping on the AI train with Apple Intelligence, and if it's as good as Apple says, it could be worth the upgrade. Apple Intelligence comes with a lot of new features like a new series experience, tools to improve your writing, including rewrite, which can help you change the tone of your text or email to sound more friendly or more professional, and there's a proofreading feature. You can also summarize your selected text with a tap. Now text improvements go beyond writing and include priority notifications, which will push those notifications to the top of your list and provide an at a glance summary. The priority messaging option is also coming to the email app, bringing important emails to the top of your inbox. Emails can also be summarized and a smart reply option will let you quickly respond to messages. The notes and phone apps have a recording option now and will record and transcribe any conversations. Apple Intelligence can then create a summary of the transcript. But before you go recording anyone, just know that the other person could receive a notification that they're being recorded depending on the state requirements. Reduce interruptions is a new focus mode that has the ability to understand what you have going on and will hide incoming stuff that could distract you from your workflow while still allowing important texts from like the babysitter to come through. Apple Intelligence also includes an image tool that allows you to make your own emojis and illustrations based on descriptions, suggested concepts, and photos. You have control of the style and it can be tailored to match whatever's going on in the app you're currently using. Genmoji is probably one of the most popular features of this update. It lets you create emojis straight from the keyboard with text prompts. You can also use a person's photo and create an emoji based on their looks. Now Siri has also gotten a facelift. When you activate Siri, the edges of your screen will glow and now you have the option to type your request instead of just speaking them. The Photos app is also getting a makeover in iOS 18. The top of the main page will show all of your photos, and below that you'll have collections that are automatically organizing your photos and videos into categories like recent days, people, and pets. You can add pin collections to the Photos app for quick access to your favorite collection and albums. Now let's talk about customizations. One of the most anticipated changes coming is the ability to fully customize your home screen. Now you'll be able to add color to your app icon and even use shades of colors that match or complement your wallpaper. You can also set your icons to dark mode. Icons can now be placed wherever you like on your home screen and making them larger will remove the name underneath. And by tapping and holding on the icon, it brings up the options for your app. This includes the ability to instantly turn an app into a widget if it's available. Now this is where the update gets a little messy. If you wanna keep an app private, iOS 18 has the ability to lock certain apps and hide them from view. And your face ID or touch is the only way to gain access. Do with that what you will. The control center is getting some customization options too. You can add and remove controls in this list to tailor it to fit your needs. Plus you can customize the size and layout of everything in the control center. On the iPhone lock screen, you can change out the two icons at the bottom to something that you may find more useful. These are all the features that are coming to both iOS and iPad iOS. There are a few features that are tailored to each of these devices and we're gonna talk about those iPhone mirroring. Now this is more of a MacBook feature, but you will be able to access and control your iPhone from your MacBook with the iPhone mirroring app. This will allow you to completely interact with your phone using your MacBook keyboard and trackpad. You can even drag and drop files from the virtual iPhone on your MacBook to your MacBook desktop. And you can do all of this with your iPhone locked. Now with iPad iOS, we get the feature Smart Script. Let's just say you're writing in a hurry or you haven't quite mastered writing on the iPad yet. 
Smart Script has your back and it will straighten out your lines and tidy up your messy handwriting so it looks more legible, but all while maintaining your handwriting in the app. With Smart Script, you can also take a text note and paste it into your handwritten note and it will convert into the style of your handwriting to match the rest of the document. If you make a mistake or need to remove text, you can scribble over the text to remove it. And don't forget about the live audio transcribe feature that automatically transcribes any audio note to text. The iPad will finally get the calculator app with the math notes feature. With this feature, you can use your Apple Pencil to write any math formula and they are instantly solved. And this feature is so smart that it can solve all of the functions of a scientific calculator. And if you need to go back and change something in the problem, it will update your work in real time. This is one I wish I had when I was in school. All right, y'all. So we have reviewed the top features coming to iOS and iPad iOS, and I'm excited. For once, I'm looking forward to Monday and I can't wait to dive into the updates on my devices. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to with this update. And also let me know if you wanna do an iPad customization together. All right, y'all, till next time.